Hello friends, today we're going to see about the breathing circuits. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Breathing circuits are tube structure that connects machine end to patient end. Breathing circuits are mainly classified into four types. Open circuit, semi-open circuit, semi-closed circuit, and closed circuit. Let's discuss them one by one. Open circuit. Open circuits are the which used in ancient times. It has a fully opened mask, through that open mask the inhalational agents are directly poured. The semi-open is also the same as the open circuit but it is covered with a towel. So it is not fully opened. That's why this circuit is called a semi-open circuit, semi-closed circuit. Nowadays these semi-closed circuits are more commonly used. Semi-closed circuits are further classified into, Mapleson A, B, C, D, E and F among them, A, B, C and D are adult circuits, which cannot be used for pediatrics because these circuits deliver high pressure and need high resistance to eliminate carbon dioxide. So, only Mapleson E and F are used for pediatrics. Now, we'll discuss Mapleson A circuit. Mapleson A circuit is found by Ivan McGill. So, it is also called as McGill circuit. The fresh gas flow is nearby the reservoir bag and the expiratory valve is near to the patient. This circuit is a circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation. Because there's no rebreathing occurs with adequate flows. It takes only less fresh gas flow. So it is the best circuit for spontaneous ventilation. This circuit is further modified and named as a LAC or coaxial system. For this circuit, there will be separate tubing for expiration. This reduces theater pollution. For this circuit, the fresh gas flow is kept equal to the minute ventilation. Mapleson B and C are a slight modification of Mapleson A. These Mapleson B and C is not used because they are requiring high fresh gas flow for carbon dioxide elimination. Next, we'll see about the Mapleson D circuit. In this circuit, the fresh gas flow is near the patient end. This circuit does offer any advantage. It's modified by a scientist Bain and renamed the circuit called Bain circuit. In this circuit, he fitted an inner tube for delivering gas. This circuit is a choice for controlled ventilation. Here the fresh gas flow kept 1.6 times of minute ventilation. This is all about the adult circuits. Next, we'll see about the pediatric circuit. As I said before, we need a low pressure and low resistance circuit for pediatrics. First Mapleson E is introduced. It's also called Ayer's T piece. It looks like an inverted T. In this circuit, there's no valve, reservoir bag. Due to this reason, the tidal volume is cannot be determined. So, it is not used. Mapleson F this circuit is found by Jackson Reese. So it is also known as the Jackson Reese circuit. Is a modification of Air's T piece. He added an open reservoir bag at the end through this bag movement we can able to determine the tidal volume. There's an adjustable pressure releasing valve in the end. 
by using that valve. This circuit can be used both spontaneous and controlled ventilation. Ok, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.